I have children talk about the hit video game series Fire Emblem, and by the end of this, I hope you can understand my admiration for the game through its mechanics and the way people play it, and my own personal experiences of that thanks to it. Many people may compare Fire Emblem to a game of chess where it's impossible not to lose a piece, and where it's even encouraged to sacrifice them for victory by leading your opponent into a trap and moving them into a certain location for you to hit their king. Meanwhile, in Fire Emblem, every unit's more important and sacrificing them is heavily encouraged as it denies you a resource in a future level. So many players may delay their victory in hopes of not losing anyone. And while in chess, your characters, which are pawns, rooks, bishops, rook, and queens and kings, you are not attached to them, they are resources to be expended. While in Fire Emblem, they're more characterized and developed, and you get to learn more about them as the game goes through. So when the time does come where you cannot win without sacrificing a unit, many people may rather choose to lose the game or restart in hopes of not losing that one guy. Of course, this is because one reason is because they rather not lose a resource later in the future. But in most cases, people choose not to lose that unit because they have grown attached to them as they've used them for victory many times in the past, or just because it's a nice looking character which is a huge contrast to victory in while well playing in chess, where you usually don't care what happens to your pawn, which may become a queen if you play hard enough. Of course I don't just like Fire Emblem because how the game works and how it makes you feel while playing it and your attachment to the characters. Fire Emblem itself has a profound effect on my social life and what I play today. I tend now to go through more story heavy games. I no longer want to play these fast paced games that video games are known for. For me these story heavy games are like novels. I like to read them, I like going through them, understanding what's going on. And because of this when I was younger I actually learned to read, not because a teacher or school that I wanted to understand what was going on in these little screams so it was nice knowing what's going on by learning how to read <laughs> and because of this I'm here today and I'm reading my notes and talking and typing and Fire Emblem was one of those big games that motivated me to learn to read of course one of the biggest things that helped me in my social life was Make, it has made me make one of my biggest connections in my life, one of my best friends I only know now because of Fire Emblem. They were someone I would usually never interact with. And just one day before class, I was just playing the game in the hallway and it came up that we started a conversation. And because of that conversation and because of our one shared interest at the time, which was Fire Emblem, we got to know each other, we got to talk to each other, which led to more conversation about other topics. Of course, it is possible that we could have talked and became friends through other means other than Fire Emblem. But since we were in different grades, it was extremely harder to talk to them otherwise. So I highly doubt without Fire Emblem that even if we did become friends, that we had have such a strong connection as the Wii U today. Well now that you know why I think it's such a great game and how it has affected my personal life and what I do today, you can see why I hold it in such high regard and I hope that you might be willing to give it a try if you're into video games.